Hey guys, welcome to one of our uh, two Instagram Bible studies that we're going to do throughout the week. And this week we're going to continue to follow along with the rest of the church in Brian McLaren's book, We Make the Road by Walking. Uh, Rob preached this week out of chapter 30, which is why we judge. Um, and he talked, or why we worry and why we judge. <clears throat> and he talked mainly about worry. We'll talk about judging on Thursday, but today we want to talk about worry. Because I feel like that's something... A lot of us have in common right now. A lot of us have a lot of that, possibly, in the moment. Maybe you don't, and that's awesome. Uh, but maybe you do. And so that the text that Rob preached from was Matthew 6, verses 25 through 34. I'm not going to read the whole thing, just a few and paraphrase. But it starts off with this, as Jesus saying on the Sermon on the Mount. He says this, Therefore, I say to you, don't worry about your life. What you'll eat or what you'll drink about your body, what you'll wear. Isn't life more than food? And the body more than clothes and he goes on to talk about the birds in the sky and do they not have food to eat and he talks about the flowers in the field and the lilies in the field and are they not gorgeous and beautiful and here one day and gone tomorrow and then he says but but doesn't your heavenly father love you so much more than those so much more than the flowers and and the birds right does God not love you more than that? He goes on to say this. He says, instead of worrying, instead of focusing on your worry, he says, focus on this. Desire first and foremost God's kingdom and God's righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. And he continues to say that, therefore, stop worrying about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. God speaks to us through the reading of scripture. And we all say, thanks be to God. And so, so what, what are you worried about? That's Jesus' thing. He says, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't do that. Brian McLaren has this, this beautiful thing he says about this passage, and I think it hits the nail on the head a little bit. He says this, the reason why Jesus is asking us not to worry and to focus on God's kingdom is that if you are anxious about your life, because worry causes anxiety, he says if you're anxious about your life, you won't enjoy or experience your life. You will only experience your anxiety. Did you get that? You won't enjoy or experience your life. You will only enjoy or experience your anxiety. That's what happens when you focus on anxiety. When we focus on anxiety, we focus on the things that raise our heart rate and get us racing. And we can just go from one worst case scenario to another, to another, to another, to another, to another. You know what that's like. You've done it before. We all have done it before. I do it right now. You know, I'm, I'm worried about a whole lot of stuff, whether it's like, how's my family going to get through this? How's our church going to get through this? How are my kids going to get through this? But Jesus calls us to something else. Jesus in this passage is calling us to not focus on the anxiety and things that bring anxiety, but Jesus calls us more towards a faith focus. Jesus calls us to be focused on God's kingdom, God's justice, and God's peace. Why? Not so we forget necessarily about the anxiety and ignore it and the things that come with it, but instead, so we lay those things at his feet and at, and at God's king table. We lay those things down for God to help us with, and, and God eases those burdens and allows us to focus on the things that help us cope with that and that bring life and life to the full. Did you catch that? That bring life and life to the full. Jesus is advocating for us to seek the things that bring life and life to the full. So what are you worried about? That's my question for you at this moment is what are you worried about? We're going to post some stuff in the story and, and, and I, I hope you'll answer that question in the story. What are you worried about? Because I would love to pray for you. I would love to pray for that worry and, 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 and allow that to be a moment that you lay it at God's feet so that you can ask this question, which is how is how and what is God calling you to experience that brings you life right now? What is God calling you to experience that brings you life right now in this moment to bring life to yourself and to people around you, to bring you life, joy, peace, hope, and love? That's my question for you. First of all, what are you worried about? And as you answer that for yourself, whether that's on, on our story later on or 
on in, in a notebook. May that be a moment that you lay that at God's feet. Know it's being prayed for. And you're being prayed for. And, and begin to ask yourself, what is God calling you to experience today that brings life and life to the full? I'm going to pray for you guys. And then I'm going to sign off. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the sun coming back out after the rain to bring life, light, and joy to our lives. As we navigate this together, as we walk together, may we walk with you as well. Um, ease our burdens. Help lift our worries so that we may experience life and life to the full now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you soon, guys.